you know, it seems a primal thing, the story, the campfire. There seems to be a part of our brain that relates to the narrative. It flows through everywhere, the, you know, Joe Campbell's journey. Where were you when you first had this sort of epiphany that you believed that for all these types of personalities in life that there needs to be a story? If I look back at my life, a few years ago and realized when I had failed, often I forgot to tell a story. When I had failed and had pain, often I had the wrong story. When I was moved, I was often moved by the right story. And when I told it forward, I was often a winner, even using somebody else's story and advocating them. So I began to realize that that was a piece that had been really dropped from the language in business school, in film school. So the whole conceit was, how does it work? How come? How come it works that way? If you put all of mankind on one year timeline, all 100,000 years on one year timeline, uh, that last, uh, that's when we had books, and uh, that's when we had digital. Before that, 99,999 years, right? Everything was oral narrative. Everything was the power around the campfire. Why is that so? Because we're wired that way. Our DNA is that way. It's in us. It's the way we see life. If we didn't bond information with emotion, it wouldn't be memorable, resonant, and actionable. All those facts, figures, data, beliefs, rules, the Bible, the Koran, the Torah, every single instrument that you think that has tradition behind it is born out of oral narrative. It's only a couple of hundred years ago that we had published books. Before that, it depended upon the campfire for social cohesion. That's how we got from the bottom of the food chain to the top. And it's inside of us. And using it purposely for what you want others to do, for what you want others to vote for, join, buy your products, it is the secret sauce. And it's everywhere. Why we don't venerate it is beyond me. So my mission was show everybody it's inside them. And it's a tool waiting to leap into action to fulfill their goals happily. I'm trying to picture you as you made your journey around the world too to validate some of this. I remember when you went to Africa. What right. did you learn when you were with the, the primitive people who were sharing that oral history like as goes on all over the world? You know I went to New Guinea in the interior of New Guinea and listened to the shamans there talk and they don't have any written language. They have some storyboards and it was all there and I went to the bowels of Ethiopia, the Omo Valley in southern Ethiopia, considered one of the most remote these two completely different places on their planet both had the same method. They depended upon the ability to create social cohesion to get other folks in their tribe to pass along the liturgy, the beliefs, rules, and values of the tribe through narrative, through story, through being able to move people emotionally. Think about all the leaders that we elect. They got to move you emotionally. You know, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. That went out with Dragnet. You know, the idea is. It's an emotional transportation. So when you have a product, a brand, a leader, if they want to get advocates, apostles, not just transactions, but relationships, they have to know how to emotionally move them. And narrative, storytelling, oral storytelling, breathing the same air, being in the same room, looking them in the eye, pressing the flesh, and then telling purposeful stories is the key to it all. Mm -hmm.